Australia's point of view, we, we're on a targeted uh, performance KPI, um, and we signed up to, you know, to commit to an energy reduction for nationwide overall estate. Obviously, one of the main things that's uh, happened at Nationwide House is the solar array. When they're generating, we we track in um, the kilowatt production, and to date, there's probably circa around 50,000 kilowatts produced. Um, and the impact on that is actually uh, a 26 tonne reduction in carbon footprint. Um, one, of the, one of the big things we did at this building was, as you see, it's a big tall building and it pumps hot water to all the toilets 24 7. Um, the reason for that is for various water conditioning reasons. Um, and we did a few experiments where we could turn the water off for so many hours of a night. Um, and then switch it on early morning before people came in to, the, to work to make sure the, the water was in the right condition. Um, so the water now isn't 24-7 constant, it's on a timed circuit. That was a very simple exercise of building management and control, uh, setting of time clocks. Any building with um, a lot of IT equipment in, we find that um, overnight the building gets warm and what we did with the building management system is we use natural fresh air. So depending on the outside temperature, five o'clock in the morning, it actually sucks in fresh air, which is cooled, and it circulates that throughout the building. So when you come into work at 7.30, 8 o'clock, it's as if somebody's had the air conditioning on, the building's at the nice ambient temperature. Nationwide is a mutual building society. Um, because of our mutuality, corporate responsibility is really important to us. The corporate responsibility isn't just about community, the environment's also really important. Uh, our members expect us to do the right thing. The environmental sustainability for our business also makes great business sense. If we were to continue doing nothing, uh, just do business as usual, we've calculated that our carbon footprint will increase by 23%. So in terms of the uh, products, the projects that we've actually carried out in our buildings, we are starting to see lower energy bills. We've also increased the comfort um, to our employees and that's really important as well. The projects that we've implemented so far have delivered some significant energy and water savings. So there's been a significant reduction in our, our uh, costs. Uh, in addition to that, there's a reduction in our carbon reduction commitment costs, so we're paying less. Uh, and of course that all adds to um, you know, making sure that we're being more prudent with our members' money. In terms of next steps, we want to continue making sure that we're reducing our requirement for energy as much as possible, uh, that we're becoming more and more efficient with the energy that we do need. But believe that next steps for us around looking at new technologies, what can we do to really push the envelope? What can we do to, to start to lead in the sustainability field?